Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is course overview for the backend course that we are going to create. Right. So the backend we are going to create using Spring Boot Framework, which is a Java backend framework. Right. And there are a lot of things that we are going to cover in this course. So this is the course overview, and which I'll tell you that what we are going to do and how what technologies we are going to use what things you will be learning and of course all of the all of the things that you'll learn in this course right so yeah course overview for a spring boot backend project so basically we are going to build a restaurant kind of uh, web app where you can uh, order food online right so you'll get a list of options of food you can uh, you can add into your cart and then make payment and then get it delivered to you right? of course not everything of it but we are going to work on the back end part later i'll turn it into a complete web app where i'll add the front end uh front end also using angular right so we'll do that later in this lecture we are sorry in this course we are only going to cover the back end part of it right so let's get started so first question is what you will learn in this course so of course we are going we are going to use spring boot framework uh for building the back end so we we'll learn all about spring boot framework what it is why it is used why it is so famous right and how as a developer as a back-end developer it makes your life so easy right we'll cover everything there is about spring uh spring boot framework then of course we are going to use mysql so we'll learn a lot about mysql also how do we uh how do we connect to the spring boot uh, uh application and how you write queries everything like that of course, a very important part of any web application or any application is the security. So when you're working with Spring Boot or working with any backend project, uh, you need to implement certain security measures there, right? So we'll see how Spring Boot provides security measures. You can implement uh, authentication and authorization both using that. So we'll cover, uh, we'll, we'll spend a good amount of time learning about the Spring security, right? And also implementing that into our project. And finally, the uh, the part when you are building it right, is the end-to-end -end testing. So we'll also learn how you can perform end-to-end -end testing once you are done with your project. Right? So a very important part of it. So we'll, uh, uh, we'll do, of course, end-to-end -end testing also. So all of these things you will learn. There are more, of course, uh, that you will learn. And uh, when we go through the project, you will see that uh, what are different types of things we are covering, what concepts we are going through, and a lot, right? Everything, of course, I was not able to put in here, but there is a lot, right? These, these are just umbrella terms. And under under each, we'll learn a lot of things more than these just I'm able to uh, explain here, right? Now, what are the tools and platforms that we'll be using for this project? Of course, we'll use GitHub for the version control. And also, I'll use GitHub to give you certain exercises that you can just directly download, right? The whole project you can clone exercises and then in the exercise i'll give you some one or two uh, uh, tasks to implement so that you can learn by implementation right that's the best best way to learn you just don't learn by watching you learn the best way to learn is by doing right so i'll be providing a lot of exercises so you can go ahead download this uh, the project and then i'll be asking you uh, giving you two or three tasks to uh, for you to implement yourself so that the things are much more clear when you do it uh, that way, right? So we'll use uh, GitHub, we'll use IntelliJ IDEA. I want everyone to use the same uh, same ID. The reason being, if a certain error comes, right? If a, if certain issue comes, I'll be able to uh, address that uh, uh, actually faster, right? If we are all using the same ID. If, so the idea is to use the same ID. I would encourage you to use IntelliJ IDEA community uh, community edition, of course, which is free. So yeah, uh, if you want to use something else, you, it is perfectly fine. But uh, it, it is recommended to use uh, IntelliJ IDEA uh, community uh, community edition. And finally, of course, we'll be using Postman for you know triggering the REST API that we are building and also to write and test it right the end to end testing. So we'll be using Postman for that. Finally, I've divided the whole project into multiple um, milestones, each one targeted to, you know, uh, verify a certain learning. For example, we'll, uh, the milestone one is to project setup and build the user API, like uh, user creation, sign up, login, log out, things like that. 
then we learn the MVC architecture, which is model view controller architecture, which is provided by uh, Spring Boot directly, right? So we we'll learn what is MVC architecture in detail, and we'll see how we can uh, how we can basically build the project which adheres to MVC architecture guidelines. And the reason we follow certain architecture is to make sure that the code that we write is maintainable, right? It's easy to be debug and easy to test. Right? Uh, each architecture that is out there. Uh, make sure that the code you write is of highest quality. Right? So we'll learn about the MVC architecture. Then we'll, of course, uh, here in the first milestone, because we just want to get created and get ourselves uh, familiarized with the Spring Boot project, uh, Spring Boot framework, I'm at. So when, when we are working with uh, user creation APIs, we won't add everyone, uh, every every API of it, right? Every REST endpoint. So we'll, uh, we'll add some here and finally we'll add some here. So that's why uh, user API creation is two times, right? Then we'll learn the uh, Spring security. Right? Very important part of it. You don't want every single endpoint to be accessible by everyone, right? Some of which may be public. So uh, you don't even need to be logged in to access those endpoints. For example, when you go to the home page of certain web app, for example, facebook.com, uh, you don't have to be logged in, right? To see the home page of facebook.com. Uh, but there are some uh, some endpoints, for example, user, uh, let's say, user uh, chat history. You can't see that without being logged in. So all of this is implemented. This is just one of the example. All of that is implemented using the security, right? So we'll learn about the Spring security and we'll add that into our project. Finally, we'll add the food items endpoint, like get all the food items so that you can show it on your main page or home page, right? And uh, uh, you can, uh, as an admin, you can add more food items to your web app or you can delete some or update their price, things like that, right? So we'll uh, add food items endpoints, then we'll perform the end-to-end -end testing, right? And when testing will uh, will uh, do, of course, using Postman as I've uh, explained. So I'll explain how you can write end-to-end -end tests using Postman, and then you can test the whole uh, web app, right? And uh, finally, we'll add the cart endpoints, cart and order endpoints. So you can add items to your cart and just click checkout, and uh, you can place an order, things like that. And finally, monitoring solution. So once you have built your backend or any web app, backend or frontend, doesn't matter, any product that you have built that you're providing someone for uh, as a service. So you might want to make sure that the service is up and running, right? If any issue comes in, you want to be alerted so that you can fix the issue as soon as possible, right? If your let's say, server crashes or things like that. So you, you want to add alerting there uh, and monitoring so that anything goes wrong you are notified uh, as soon as possible and then you can fix it so we'll add monitoring solutions there it will uh, monitor your 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 services that you have deployed right so it will make sure that the services are up and running how many calls uh, uh, each endpoint is getting things like that which which is up to you that what do you want to make out of those uh, out of that data right so yeah this is, is the whole uh, whole project divided into multiple um, milestones so this is what we are going to build in this project it is going to be an interesting project and uh don't worry we are going to com complete the project later in the next uh, next course we'll convert this backend project into a, a full full on working uh web app right by adding the front end so in this in this course we are only going to cover the back end which is a huge part of it right so yeah this is all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and if you have any suggestion or anything you can post it down in the comment section so yeah this is it thank you guys for watching and until the next video drops keep coding thank you